In 1959, a young New York City socialite turned Palm Beach juice stand owner was deciding what to do about the occupational hazard of fruit stains. What happened next is fashion history. Lily Pulitzer created a simple shift dress, choosing a vividly colored print that would match her stains. Like everything else she did, her dress radiated with a style all its own. It was the antithesis of the Palm Beach costume of the day. No girl, no hose, no hat required. Lily herself advocated foregoing underwear. Soon, the fashionistas of Palm Beach all wanted their own Lily shifts, and the fruit stand became a boutique. When Jacqueline Kennedy was photographed in one of Lily's dresses, women all over the country wanted one. The Lily, as it came to be known, was based on the first dress every American girl was taught to make in home ec. A sleeveless, semi-fitted sheath that was little more than a front, two backs, and a zipper. What truly distinguished it was the fabric. Printed especially for Lily, it featured vivid combinations of pinks, oranges, yellows, purples, blues, and greens. Lily was more than fashion. It was a rebellion against the rigid styles and inhibitions long associated with American influence. Women passing each other wearing a Lily shift, flat sandals, and a headscarf winked at one another knowingly as if to say, I'm a member of the club. The collection kept evolving. Prints became more expressive, with words and images acknowledging specific academic institutions, events, and social phenomena. Lily's fodder spanned whatever topics captured her interest. The Ivy League, the Bicentennial, even the streaker craze. Indeed, Lily Pulitzer was the champion of conversational prints as we now know them. As her boarding school pals married and relocated across the country, Lily Pulitzer shops opened in Tony Towns everywhere. For men, Lily translated the flamboyance of London's Carnaby Street fashion scene for the cocktail set. Men and women alike began showing up in full lilies for dances at the club or drinks around the pool. Party pants became de rigueur in August resorts from Bermuda to Southampton. Without knowing it, Lily Pulitzer created a mini empire, with the fashion press ultimately labeling her the Barefoot Tycoon. Characterized as much by a point of view about life as an aesthetic on clothing, Lily is arguably fashion's original lifestyle brand. Lily continues to embody a free-spirited belief in individuality and self-expression, along with a love of family. The essence of the brand is to appreciate differences while celebrating connections. It's a point of view that's both comforting and liberating. The more people that see life like Lily, the better the world will be.